Hi, my name is Sid Espinoza. I work at Microsoft. I'm often asked, what investments are we making in the community and what impact are they having? So I figured let's come down here to the Tech Museum. We've been investing in them for many years. Let's talk to Peter Fries, the president, and find out what's going on. Come on, let's go inside. Here in the Valley, I think there's a lot of conversation about how do we get more people excited about math and science and engineering and thinking about innovation? What role does the Tech Museum play in that? You know, the Tech Museum has about 100 exhibits and they're all interactive. So when you come here, prepare that you have to do a lot. By doing things, you learn much faster than by just looking at things and reading about things. We are focusing on several subjects. First of all, Silicon Valley technologies. That's all about Microsoft, Intel, etc. We do have a gallery on health and biotechnology. We do have a gallery on energy issues. We have two signature programs. One is called the Tech Challenge, where kids come to the Tech Museum once a year and then they compete against each other. Then we have the Tech Awards. I've had the good fortune to come to the Tech Awards now for a couple years in a row. And what's always amazing to me is there are people all around the world creating new technologies that are completely transforming the world. And so I wonder how you guys first came up with the idea for the Tech Awards and what impact you think the Tech Awards is having. So the Tech Awards is the international outreach of the Tech Museum. It's an all-week program where these innovators come here and get connected to Silicon Valley celebrities, innovators, inventors. That should help them to grow their business in their own place. We have built a gallery about the Tech Awards. There is one experiment showing a radio which you electrify by turning a crank. This radio was developed for kids living in very remote areas with no access to electricity. With that radio, they receive lessons. They just turn the crank three, four times and the lesson goes on. Microsoft has been with us for many, many years now supporting the Education Award for the Tech Awards and that allows us to bring every year three innovators to Silicon Valley and one which I like to remember most is Salman Khan. People who run through his video programs learn faster, they learn better and they're more happy at the end. What do we risk if this valley, if this region, if the country, if the world doesn't continue to teach science and innovation in a way that really gets kids excited? I think we're in a dilemma. The traditional way of teaching, that's probably not working much longer. So worldwide we have to figure out what is the new way of teaching kids and what is the new way of learning. And that is more about how to learn than what to learn. Once the kids learn how to learn, then the what is not anymore a big question. I think Silicon Valley has the opportunity to solve that problem in an unconventional and in a new way. That's where I see the big opportunity for this place.